the European Union finds itself at a critical juncture, with French President Emmanuel Macron sounding the alarm on the economic challenges facing the region. Macron's recent speeches have highlighted the risks posed by the economic policies of major global players like China and the United States, emphasizing the need for Europe to take bold action to protect its interests and ensure its economic stability. In his recent address at the Sorbonne University in Paris, Macron issued a stark warning that Europe could face dire consequences if it fails to address the threats of protectionism and geopolitical pressures from authoritarian regimes like China and the US. He emphasized the need for Europe to strengthen its defenses, boost innovation, protect its industries, and enhance its military capabilities to navigate the evolving global landscape effectively. Macron's concerns stem from Europe's vulnerabilities in the face of China's economic dominance and the US's aggressive economic policies. The EU's over-reliance on external powers for trade, defense, and energy has left it exposed to potential exploitation and manipulation. Macron highlighted the risks associated with Europe's lack of strategic autonomy, urging the region to assert its independence and not become subservient to the interests of other global powers. The French president's warnings come at a time when the European Union is grappling with a range of economic challenges, including the lingering effects of the COVID-19 pandemic, the ongoing conflict in Ukraine, and the threat of a global recession. These factors have combined to create a perfect storm, putting immense pressure on the EU's economies and testing the resilience of its institutions. One of the primary concerns raised by Macron is the EU's over-dependence on external powers for critical resources and technologies. This vulnerability has become increasingly apparent in recent years as geopolitical tensions have escalated and global supply chains have been disrupted. For example, Europe's reliance on Russian energy has left it exposed to the fallout from the Ukraine conflict with the region facing the prospect of energy shortages and skyrocketing prices. Similarly, the EU's dependence on Chinese manufacturing and rare earth minerals has raised concerns about the potential for Beijing to leverage its economic power for political gain. Macron has also highlighted the threat posed by US protectionism and the use of economic sanctions as a foreign policy tool. The Trump administration's trade wars and the Biden administration's continued use of tariffs and other trade barriers have put significant strain on the EU's economy, particularly in key sectors like agriculture and manufacturing. Moreover, the EU's lack of strategic autonomy in areas like defense and technology has left it vulnerable to the whims of larger powers. Macron has argued that Europe must develop its own capabilities in these critical areas to ensure its long-term security and prosperity. To address these challenges, Macron has proposed a series of strategic reforms aimed at strengthening Europe's position on the global stage. These reforms include boosting innovation and competitiveness. Macron has called for greater investment in research and development, with a focus on emerging technologies like artificial intelligence, renewable energy and biotechnology. He has also advocated for reducing bureaucratic barriers and fostering a more entrepreneurial culture in Europe to help the region's businesses compete more effectively with their global counterparts. Macron has emphasized the need to protect European industries from unfair competition and predatory practices by foreign actors. This could involve measures such as strengthening antitrust regulations, providing targeted subsidies and tax incentives, and promoting the use of European-made products and services. Macron has called for a significant increase in European defence spending and the development of a more integrated and capable military force. He has argued that Europe must be able to defend its interests and project power on the global stage, rather than relying solely on the United States or other external actors. Fostering a more integrated European market, Macron has stressed the importance of reducing barriers to trade and investment within the EU to create a more unified and competitive internal market. This could involve measures such as harmonizing regulations, improving cross-border infrastructure, 
and facilitating the free movement of goods, services and labour, Macron has advocated for a more assertive and proactive approach to foreign policy, with the EU playing a more prominent role in shaping global affairs. This could involve initiatives such as deepening diplomatic ties with key partners, leveraging the EU's economic weight to influence international decision-making and promoting European values and interests on the world stage. Macron's warnings and proposals have significant implications for the future of the European Union. As the region grapples with economic uncertainties, geopolitical tensions and internal challenges, the need for decisive action and strategic reforms becomes increasingly urgent. One of the key implications of Macron's approach is the potential for increased tensions within the EU. While many member states may share his concerns about Europe's vulnerabilities, there may be disagreements over the specific policy responses and the allocation of resources. This could lead to political gridlock and undermine the EU's ability to act decisively in the face of external threats. Moreover, Macron's calls for greater European autonomy and self-reliance may be perceived as a threat by the United States and other global powers. This could further exacerbate geopolitical tensions and lead to retaliatory measures, such as trade disputes or diplomatic pressure. Despite these challenges, Macron's vision for a more resilient and assertive Europe has found support among many policymakers and experts. They argue that the EU's long-term prosperity and security depend on its ability to reduce its dependence on external powers and assert its own interests on the global stage. In this context, Europe's ability to assert its economic independence, protect its industries and strengthen its defences will be crucial in safeguarding its interests and ensuring its long-term prosperity in a rapidly changing global environment. The road ahead may be challenging, but with bold leadership and concerted efforts, Europe can navigate these turbulent times and emerge stronger and more resilient than ever before. Macron's concerns about Europe's economic vulnerabilities must be understood within the broader geopolitical context. The world is currently witnessing a shift in the global balance of power, with the rise of China and the continued dominance of the United States creating a more multipolar international system. This shift has profound implications for Europe which has traditionally relied on the US as its primary security guarantor and economic partner. As the US and China engage in an increasingly intense rivalry, the EU finds itself caught in the middle, forced to navigate a complex web of competing interests and strategic priorities. On the one hand, the EU has deep economic ties with China, which has become a crucial trading partner and source of investment for many European countries. However, the EU has also expressed growing concerns about China's authoritarian political system, its human rights abuses, and its assertive foreign policy, particularly in the Asia-Pacific region. Similarly, the EU's relationship with the US has become more complicated in recent years, with the Trump administration's America First policies and the Biden administration's continued use of economic sanctions and trade barriers creating tensions and uncertainty. In this context, Macron's call for greater European autonomy and self-reliance can be seen as an attempt to insulate the EU from the geopolitical rivalries of the US and China, and to ensure that Europe's interests are not subordinated to the whims of these larger powers. Macron's proposal